my channel. It's Kendall for The Polish Desk. And today is the start of spring nail polish collection swatch and reviews here on my channel. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do that. Also feel free to comment, like the video. You can also visit me on Instagram. You can also email me. I will put all of that information below. So I am kicking off my spring swatch and review videos with one of two new collections from Deborah Lippman for spring 2022. We're going to be looking at the Light Years Ahead collection and these are four new shades in the Gel Lab Pro formula and as you can probably see they are um, for the most part, pastels. These uh, polishes, I think, are super fun takes on pastels. So if you like lighter shades or pastel shades with a little something extra, then I think you're really going to like these polishes. The other thing that I really like about them um, and the Gel Lab Pro formula in general is that it's 10 free, it's vegan, it is cruelty free. So if those things are as important to you as they are to me, then um, I would definitely give this line a try. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get into the swatches and then I'll talk a little bit about the polishes. So um, again, I have the four from this collection and then in the next video, we're going to look at the new six piece set that's also available now. Um, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into the swatches. The first shade in this collection is called Starstruck. This is a full coverage mother of pearl shimmer. So on the first coat here, it is a bit sheer. That is to be expected with this finish. However, as you can see, the coverage is very even. As, um, and I don't think I mentioned this at the top of the video, but I'm actually swatching all of these over the Deborah Lippmann All About That Base CC Base Coat. And so that allows for an even smoother application of your polish. On that second coat, again, um, it is starting to build. Um, you can see that the shimmer is building as well. Again, great formula, very even coverage, and um, this one was, as much as I liked it in the bottle, I loved it on the nail. I was, even I was surprised by how much I just thought this one was just, is just so beautiful. Uh, I'm showing it to you here in three coats. Um, I think it's also beautiful in two, and you could probably also use this one as a topper. So again, incredible shimmer, gorgeous take on Mother of Pearl. I think it's trendy and at the same time, I think it's classic and vintage. Again, something that Deborah Lippmann just excels at. I love this close-up shot here. You can see just how beautiful it is on the nail in three coats. And so um, absolutely great way to start this collection. That's three coats of Starstruck. Next up is She's a Rocket, a full coverage purple with gold shimmer. So once again, on the first coat, we have an absolutely wonderful formula. As you can see, this one is not as sheer. Um, and this one is not as sheer as the others in the collection. This has more of that cream base. As you can see on the first coat, we're already getting that beautiful gold shimmer, uh, which for me, I love this shade of purple and the gold shimmer just put it over the top for me. Uh, this is actually the one that I'm wearing right now. Um, I couldn't wait to wear it after I had swatched everything. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous shade and I think of all the shades in the collection that this one seasonally is the most versatile and transitional so absolutely love this one so that's two coats of she's a rocket the next polish is called the woman in the moon and this is a semi sheer periwinkle cream so as to be expected, you can see that it is sheer on that first coat, yet the coverage is still very even, very good formula on this one. I absolutely love semi-sheer shades. I love sheers in general. And so um, in the swatch here, I'm showing it to you in the live swatch in two coats, and then the photo will show three. Um, and I'm gonna talk more about this one at the end of the video, because again, I just love this uh, finish of polish, and it is a beautiful periwinkle absolutely on trend for this year um, absolutely love this one so again this one's called the woman in the moon swatched at two coats in the live swatch and here at three coats in the photo 
And the last polish in this collection is called Galaxy Far, Far Away. This is a full coverage turquoise with silver shimmer. So first of all, I think that this shade screams spring. I think it's also beautiful for winter because it has that icy shade, that kind of icy blue look to it. Um, again, this one is going to be intentionally sheer. I'm gonna build it up for you in three coats. Um, I would also like to say that if this is what galaxies look like, um, I'm there for it because this is absolutely beautiful. I love how delicate this looks. It has a very ethereal look. Um, sometimes I am picky about these shades because of brush strokes I recommend getting um, using the first two coats to kind of get that color coverage and then as you can see here on the third coat I'm trying to work um, a bit slower and trying to be a bit more intentional with the brush strokes to kind of help along uh, with evening it out and so I don't have that many brush strokes when it dries down the formula is great um, this one is absolutely, again, beautiful. I think that this is a great spring shade. I love shades like this in the winter as well. So again, another winner and a great way to end the collection. So that's three coats of Galaxy Far, Far Away. Okay, so there you have it. All four shades from Deborah Lippman's new Light Years Away collection for spring 2022. So I am really excited to see or to hear what you guys think about these polishes. Um, I, I think that it can be very difficult when you have um, a four piece collection, you know, you don't have a lot of polishes in a collection to really have a cohesive color story. And I think that this collection is a great example of a brand that does that very well with so few polishes in the collection. I love the fact that um, we're seeing pastels. Pastels are on trend this spring, but I love how they also add in a little something extra. I like how uh, each of the polishes is a different finish. Um, I mean, I also like collections where you have maybe the same finish and you wanna use them together in manicures, but I love how all of these, each one of these are unique from the other, but they come together and they just make a really, they have a, it's a really cohesive, a really, um, beautiful color story and I also think that these are versatile as far as seasons um, a lot of these I would wear any time of year um, I'm wearing I'm actually wearing um, she's a rocket right now and this is honestly one that I would wear almost any time of year um, even in the fall I think these are also great transition shades so um, again I just think Deborah Lippman always knocks it out of the park with being on trend but also you know pushing the envelope and being chic and just all of these uh, things that I know I look for in a collection or in polishes. So uh, my favorite is She's a Rocket. It was actually really close between that one and The Woman in the Moon. Honestly, these two are my favorite. Um, one of the things that I love about The Woman in the Moon, other than the color, I mean, it's beautiful, uh, but this is the same kind of formula and finish as one of my favorite polishes of all time, which is Deborah Lippmann's Naked. That kind kind of semi-sheer, opaque in two to three coats, um, super glossy on the nail. I think it's really chic. I think that you can wear it alone. Um, you can use toppers with it. So I just, I absolutely love this one. And this one, not only do I think the shade of purple is beautiful, but I just love the gold shimmer that is in there. It shows up very well on the nail. Um, and again, I think these uh, in particular are just amazing transitional shades as we go from spring to summer. Um, and like I said, in my opinion, even from you know summer to fall. So honestly, these are two shades that I would wear any time of year. Um, I also really liked this blue shade, um, the turquoise shade. Um, you know, I think that not only does it fit the theme of the collection very well, there's just something ethereal about it. Um, like I showed in the swatch, you do want to be careful with brush strokes, but, um, you know, with the great brush and the great formula, I found as long as I was careful that that was not really a huge problem to combat. So I love this one too. And I also really loved Star Struck, Star Struck, yeah. Um, you know, I'm not always into this finish per se, but there was something about this one. Um, again, I love how you can do two to three coats. So formula wise, it's so good that if you like the look of two, which I often do with polishes like this, you can do that. But then when I put on a third coat, I felt like, 
yes, it's beautiful in the bottle, but I love it when a polish is on your nails and you just start to see all these things that you didn't necessarily see in the bottle, if that makes sense. So this was, um, you know, I didn't think I would dislike this one, but I ended up loving this one a lot more than I had anticipated. And I'm always excited by that. I love that. So yeah, so that is uh, the Light Years Ahead collection from Deborah Littman for spring 2022. Again, I would love to know what you guys think about this collection and be sure to come back for my second video on the six piece set that is also releasing. Um, and actually both collections are available now on the Deborah Lippman website. So thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one.